No, you're not saying things. I'm not deceiving you either. We're back here. This is going to be, apparently, where I'm going to be staying for the next four months. Um... I don't know what's going to happen within that time period as far as YouTube goes. I'm going to try to keep on the ball for it. Um, we're going to keep trying to do after uh, the last five days having just vlogs. We are still going to resume back on content. Um, speaking of, the later video will actually... Well, first, I should probably solidify this. The, the background you see in the later video is actually um, the room that I was going to use as both a bedroom and an office again, because kind of resuming that trend, um, I'm finding it's best suitable for me to do that kind of thing. So that's what I'm doing uh, from here forward. This is technically the bed I sleep on now, and have been over the course of the past couple months. Um, as far as like the YouTube video later on today goes, that was actually recorded a couple of days prior to the recording of this video. Uh, this video, after all the events that had happened, I had to delay recordings again, so I need to play, I, I'm gonna be playing catch-up again, uh, which I have the time to do that, so I'm not too concerned about it. Um, but, the background you'll be seeing is actually, I will be staying there four months from now. Um, end of September 2023 is when I'll be moving back over there. Um, but in the meantime, just a lot of financial obligations came up. It made it kind of, it made it extremely difficult for me to be able to just move out. Um, uh, there was a plan in set to make it um, plausible, but a lot happened that just didn't make that work out. So we're here again. <laughs> um, we're gonna be, like I said, here for the next four months. Um, and, yeah, I'm gonna be working my butt off to try to make sure that a lot, like, everything goes fluently over the course of the next four months. Last couple months have been strainful for me, as far as, like, that kind of thing goes. I really hope, I just really hope things get better on this, on that front from here forward. Um, regardless... I'll do whatever needs to get done, and hopefully no nothing too frustratingly bad happens from here forward. Um, we're going to still resume content, but I did want to talk about this, kind of wanted to speak my day, do another day speaks his mind kind of thing. That was kind of the first part of it. I, I guess the second half of what's kind of on my mind right now is just that because of all the strain and stress of a lot of different things... Not gonna go into detail about have been going on. Um, it, it's been really tough for me to like just go step by step on a lot of things. Now, as far as my own mental health goes, I I talk about this a lot. How certain aspects make it tough for me to do that kind of thing. I will say this: this kind of thing doesn't quite get to that point. Um, I'm kind of in a position right now where it's kind of hard to damage my mentality as it is at the moment anyway. There are several uh, optimistic, several pessimists. That there, are, there are several reasons I can get into for that, but it's kind of aside from the point. Regardless, there has still been a lot of strain and stress on this. I guess one silver lining on, like, me moving back here is, and this is more of an outward, not involving me silver lining, but more of an outward peer silver lining, is that when moving into the uh, place that I'll be moving into in, uh, in once again, four months from this recording date, um, I'll be spending a lot of time just me in seclusion, and me plus seclusion is it doesn't end well me plus seclusion is actually what brings on a lot of personal mental strain um i can go into detail about why on a future date but just in the short of it um it's mainly because of the fact that 
I just started thinking. There are things that come to my mind that I'm, at, once again, I'm going to go, I'll go over this on a future date. This is a topic for another day. Um, but when I'm secluded and I have nothing to do, no one to hang out with, this kind of thing just happens. So, one upside about moving back here is the fact that that won't happen as often just due to the fact that I have friends closer by. Um, like, again, Aaron and Jake, who I, as you guys know, speak very highly of. They're the only two the friends that I have here that, you know, I can actually hang out with that, will, that actually do help that mindset. Maybe because through on a mental standpoint, they both have gone through very similar mindsets for different, slightly different reasons, but they've been in the same boat as I have as far as like mentality goes. So it's, it's nice to have peers who can, who can, who you can actually relate to, which is the kind of, it doubles the benefit of being able to live close by because it makes it easier to hang out more frequently. And because of that frequent hangout, the seclusion is basically not much of a worry. And it's also a case of, Hey, I don't feel as alone, and I, I've had a history of having a lot of people make me feel that way. I'm not going into detail about this, this is something I can vent about on another day, but because of that history, my current state begs to not have that. Um, and bear in mind, when I say alone, I am not including family. Obviously, no one is ever fully alone. They always have that one group of individuals who are there. It just goes unnoticed under certain fronts when certain mindsets are there. Uh, it's just because that mindset overpowers any kind of optimism. Um, but that's one plus, more of a serious plus in regards to me and my own mentality. But I do have one other plus, and this one's more kind of a derpy joking, but also not kind of plus. When I left, when I had planned out the move out and had been doing the move out, the plan was for me to have a transfer to another location of the store that I work at. But, and when I told my boss this, he was actually very sad to see me leave him and a couple of the managers as well. And, I actually kind of jokingly said to myself that they had jinxed me. Obviously this is not the case, but I'm just gonna keep going to work to where I've been working for the course of the past, almost a year actually, just a few months off. Wow. <laughs> but actually by the time I move, I think it would be about a year. So, holy crap. Um, but yeah, at that point, it would still just be a transfer. I did that part staying the same. It's just going to be delayed a few months because I need the money. Or at least the amount I'm able to get. Details on that, it's gonna, that's going to stay confidential, but... I can only do so much, let's put it that way. Anyway... Um, I don't know. With, uh, other than that, a lot of other things that have been crossing my mind recently is, and I guess this comes across my mind often, it depends on, it's not always negative, by the way. When I say this line, I'm not being directly negative. Um, it's a wonder, and it's, it can, depending on the time, sometimes it can be that way, yes, but at other points it can be more of a motivator statement. <clears throat> as much as it may not sound like it off the fly. The statement I'm referring to is, am I good enough? Have I been doing good enough? Uh, kind of a combination of both of those. Like, am I, am I good enough, comma, have I been doing good enough? Um, now this particular statement I know can come off as negative as me shutting, shutting myself down, hating on myself. Admittedly, sometimes I have done that in the past, yes. Um, but in the case of recent events, 
It's more me wondering, is there something I'm missing? Is there, is there something I could do to make me better as, like, kind of a person? And not in a negative way. The wording can come off as negative, but recently I've just been analyzing a lot of my history, a lot of my flaws, and a lot of my mistakes. And my mind would go down that mindset as it is currently have I been doing good enough? Is there something I need to change? Is there something that I need to alter about myself that just doesn't appeal? Something like that, I guess. That may not be the best wording for what I'm thinking, but it kind of gets the point across, I suppose. Now bear in mind, like I said, this is not a negative thing. It's just kind of a wonder in trying to analyze my own history and analyze what I can do to make myself better. I've been doing that a lot recently, too. I'd say over the course of the past maybe month and a half, two months, um, I've been wondering that and trying to been, I've been trying to analyze a lot in my life, even stuff from over a decade ago, admittedly. When I analyze important detail, it's for some weird reason, some, one of the things that I'm always able to remember are the, like the extremely big events that are mo the most impactful to me, mentally. And I guess personality-wise as well. I try, the ones that impact in a positive way, I try not to alter that. For example, YouTube. Um, I've been watching it since... Actually, ever since it was created in 2006, it was a different, it was, like, if you looked at the, when this particular channel was created, it will obviously wasn't from this one. There's another channel I used to own that I'll get into deep. If you guys want to know about that channel, I'm more than welcome to talk about it, but I'll do it at a future date. Um, but that channel is the one that I used to um, use. The, the, the one that I was originally wanting to be that, but a lot happened on that email and I had to change. I had to remove the email and change things. Like I said, I can talk more in depth about this in the future. There are specific events that happened during that time era, uh, like early 2000s all the way up until now, quite frankly. There are several very important events to me that some may have subsided. Now, I don't know if it's a sub selective subconscious thing, but there are, if I were to try to talk about any other events up, outside of the ones that are that important, I wouldn't be able to. Okay, admittedly, the reason that was extensive is because I actually kind of half yawned. Oops. But, Over the course of the past decade and a half, I have either made I have made several, several mistakes, but I've also created several achievements. And well neither really outweigh the other to me. A lot of people think that the negative outweighs the positive just because of this phrase that goes a thousand, I think it's a thousand good deeds makes up for one negative one. Honestly, I don't believe that. I know a lot of people do and I'll respect the, if, hey, if you believe it, kudos. I'm not hating on it. It's just something I personally don't believe. Then again, that's just because of how it impacts me. If somebody were to do something negative to me but did something equivalently positive, done deal, made up. Doesn't matter to me. I'm more than willing to subside that kind of thing. However, if somebody does something like really, really bad, but then just does minor little tiny big things on the side, then in that case, yes, I get it. But I guess for me, I've always experienced people who do like, for the most part, who do stupidly bad things, over exaggeration, um, they'll always do like a stupidly good thing to compensate for it um, just by initial action. And these are the people who I actually keep in touch with, by the way. The people who I willingly come in contact with like all the time 
Uh, like, again, Aaron. He and I have never, like, we've never argued or anything like that. It's just an example of someone I talk to all the time. Now, I, like I said, I only have two friends, Aaron and Jake, outside, like, outside of distant people who I probably haven't spoken to in years. Off of whether they're a core or my own, doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> there are several friends that I've had in the past who I just haven't spoken to in forever. Just because, well, we move on with life. But some of the friends from that past actually do check that box. Check mark the box. If that's the word I'm going to use. But with all that being said, these big events, whether positive or negative, are like selectively the only ones my brain ever seems to want to remember. And they usually solidify part of who I am. And sometimes they'll change parts of me, whether for better or for worse, really depends on the future events. But I guess for one example would be... One of my exes. Uh, my first official ex, I should say. Uh, her name was Tristan. We did end up breaking up, but that's just because of long distance. Um, she and I were actually stayed very close friends uh, during that long distance point in time. Unfortunately, Tristan passed away at a point, so... It, it, I did mourn, and... I showed as much support towards her mom and grandfather, who were her... Uh, family at the time, and still technically are, duh, um, I showed as much support as, to them as I could. Um, but Tristan, the reason I bring her up specifically, she kind of helped me solidify what kind of person I wanted to look for, officially. Prior to her, I mean, I had a relation, but it wasn't like an official boyfriend-girlfriend thing. Um... But, yeah, Tristan, and yeah, is a she. Um, she's the one who actually solidified the exact kind of personality and type of person I wanted to be with. That's, like, the perfect example of the kind of person who... Like, I, that can alter me, and the kind of events that can alter my personality and what I'm looking for in life drastically. Let's take YouTube as another example. When I first started watching the platform, maybe up until about 2013, I didn't have many desires of doing anything YouTube-wise. Actually, I think it was like 2010. Official answer. It was 2012. I know that because of the place I was living at the time. Um, but in 2012, I, I started watching YouTuber Attacking Toucans and Josh Jepsen. Uh, sorry, YouTubers. And at the time, they were very immature and to me very, very humorous. They still are to this day. That it's It's like a really... I wouldn't say NSFW, but it's a... I would say it's probably a not-for-kids kind of humor, but it's not like... It's not... I, I, I wouldn't say it's not user-friendly, but it's not family-friendly. It's also like old-school gamer humor, though, so it makes sense. Um... They ran a channel called Versus, and after seeing that, seeing how much fun they were having, like doing all these different Let's Plays back then, I was like, you know what, I want to do that. So, I started trying, and I found out that I actually really enjoyed it. I was using like this very small camera, that, not the camera, the pro professional camera I'm using now, but I would, I used to use a camera that was like this box 
carry around film like this kind of camera. Um, I forget what it's actually called though. It was a camera that my parents bought for me to create like these videos. They got it for me for Christmas in, I think it was like, what year was it? I actually don't remember. But I do remember actually making the first move film thing I made was this ridiculously derpy um, video that I did end up posting on the first channel I made, but since it got taken down, you're not going to be able to find it anywhere. But I believe it was called The Battle of the Century. Now, the reason I, and yes, Z E Battle O V Z E Century. The reason for that is because of one of my cousins who would actually talk with that kind of voice. I'm surprised she never became like a voice actor or something. She's actually really good at it. Um, but after as tedious and as frantic as it was, the aftermath of it was actually a lot of fun. It was really enjoyable and In the long run, I actually do remember, um, I remember just really thinking this is what I want to do for, in life. I want to do this. Like at that time, it was actually that I wanted to be an actor. But over time, like, because bear in mind, what this flashback, what I'm talking about, that camera, I'm pretty sure I started using that long before YouTube existed. It was just for the sake of, hey, I need something to do, I want to record something, make a derpy video, just cuz. And it worked out. It was before I started doing YouTube recording things. Let's put it that way. Eventually, I did end up starting doing Let's Plays. I think the one that I attempted it on the channel was, on that one channel was Super Mario Galaxy, which at the time was definitely my favorite Mario game, and to this date still stands at my top three. Is it my number one? No, it's actually my number two, but that's beside the point. But when I figured out how much I enjoyed it, I kind of started to solidify in my mind that maybe not, if not an actor, I wanted to be an entertainer or at least a creator of sorts. And, well, look where we are now. That's another perfect example of what, how very big events to me in my life in the past can actually impact me permanently in the future. If it wasn't for those particular events that I just presented, I'd probably be lost, like the Tristan thing, I'd be lost on who I'd want to be with as far as relationship goes. I'd be scourgingly looking for whoever. Um, and the YouTube thing, I probably would not even know what I would want to do as a career right now. I'd probably be just doing fast food and only fast food my whole life with no ultimate end goal if it wasn't for that. And... I mean, I could give several more examples, but the point of me giving these examples more has to do with just the fact that these big events, whether negative or positive, impact me as a person even up to this point, and some big ones from recent events, which I have discussed, which I'm not going to go talk about again because I'm trying not to, I just don't find any reason of beating a dead horse at this point. A lot of recent events, like, have been altering me as a person. In a, a drastic way? Well, obviously not. Otherwise, the later video you're going to see, the humor in it, it wouldn't exist. At all. Like, period. Not at all. But I'm not going to let that happen. I have, admittedly, there have been points in times in the past where extreme negative events have impacted my mental state drastically 
this has only really occurred to the degree I'm talking about like three times, but all three of them are events I'm never going to forget and keep as reference for future dates because I don't like going down those paths. And I want to do what I can in my power to change it. Which reverts me back to what I was originally saying about the whole idea that I have been analyzing my life and trying to figure out more thoroughly who I want to be, who I am, who I want to be with, and how I want to approach all that. Because, truth be told, my whole life I've been playing life as a game, as a just go, and go with the flow kind of thing, and sure, sometimes it will work, but even that only goes so far, and I'm starting to realize that. It helps with a lot of understanding aspects, like understanding almost any circumstance aspects, sure, but going with the flow, there is a point where you'll hit a wall, and it just wouldn't end well. And I'm, I've been beaten senseless with that lesson in a way over and over and over and over again. I, I, I'm not numbering, I'm not saying it's only happened four times, I'm just saying it's happened a lot to me. And I'm just now coming to the realization, which is sad, given how, actually, what date is this being uploaded? I'm pretty sure, I, mean, I was going to say with like how old I am, uh, which by the time this uploads, I, it depends because I had to remove some videos. Actually today is, today is my birthday. According to like the, okay, I, I was wondering if it was that or the day after. Because I did remove some videos to compensate, but no, yeah, today's my birthday, so great thing to be thinking of during that point in time. To be honest, at the point in time you guys see this, I'll probably be spending time with my family, because they wanted to at least uh, do something for my birthday. They're actually going to be heading out of town at the end of the, end of the day, at, at, at that night, or tonight, I should say. Um... By the time you guys see this, if you're seeing it the day it's uploaded, I'm probably already going to be spending time with them because they're going to be leaving just a few hours after I'm done spending time with them. But I keep going off topic. I guess through and through, recent events have got me thinking a lot and I feel like there's a lot I need to change about myself about change. I don't want to change my personality. I love, humor-wise, I love who I am. I love the way I'm able to adapt into different environments. Those aspects I don't want to change. I don't want to change the fact that I'm doing this channel. I want to keep doing it. I want to keep all of the comments that I've been getting as far as like, sounds good, looks good, like, I love these videos, this game is underrated, like, or stuff like that, stuff for the primary content, the gaming content, all the positive vibes that we've been getting, I really do appreciate that, guys. And it actually does push me to keep wanting to do this. Regardless of how long it takes for us to get monetized, it gives me incentive and motive to keep doing it. Even if it has to end up being as a hobby for now, I don't care. But even so, I, I don't know. I don't wanna change those aspects of me. The better aspects that I think impact everyone in a positive way, I don't wanna change. But there are some aspects of me that I feel like I do need to change, or some outlooks, some, perspectives that I th feel like I need to change. With that being said, I'm actually going to leave this here. We're almost at the 30 minute mark and I think I've talked enough. I think I've spoken my mind enough. For those of you who stuck around for the whole video, thank you for listening. Um, uh, once again, 
thank you guys all for the amount of support that you guys have been giving this channel. It really does mean a lot. Um, I'm going to probably be showing a lot more gratitude. Again, I, I used to do it like a lot, a lot. Like once every, what, 10, 20, 50 subs. Now I have to do it every like certain milestone because of how many we're getting and just how occupied I am by a lot of other things like what we talked about today, but if you, guys, if you guys have any suggestions for something you'd like me to discuss, regardless of how long it takes me to talk about it, uh, let, let me know in the comments below. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, if you like this kind of stuff, make sure to give the video a like and consider subbing to the channel if you're new here. Um, don't worry, the vlogs are only one thing a day, unless circumstances, like a move. The past five days were just vlogs because of that. So there are some exceptions sometimes. But yeah, um, if you want to check out, I don't know, if you like these lengthy like the, uh, vlog or podcast, or whatever you want to call them, type videos, uh, why not check out the Dave Speaks His Mind playlist? Uh, it's on the left side of my head. Uh, there's only one other video outside of this one to it right now. Or you can, if this doesn't fill your boat but you stuck to the end, once again, thank you very much for sticking around, but why not click the link on the other side of my head where maybe you'll find something that might appeal to you a bit more. In the meantime, I've got to take care of uploading, uh, or scheduling uh, the later video for upload. i got to make sure that's gotten taken care of. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll see you all later. Bye.